Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy DJ Rick Webb. We're back here for another amazing video. Today, we're going to be going through my top five beginner speakers for 2020. So I have a pretty old video on this channel that is actually one of my top viewed videos and it is my original top five beginner speaker video that I made. Now a lot of years have passed since then. We've had some new products come out and uh, I've got to experience a lot of new products. So we need to give a 2020 update to this list. These speakers are really in no particular order but I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on each one of them as well as list the pricing and where I see them most fit for the beginners that are out there. So Without further ado, let's jump into my top five speaker choices for beginners in 2020. Kicking it off with number five, and that is going to be the JBL Eon 615. Now, I have a lot of history with this speaker, and it is a fairly old speaker because it was one of the first ever speakers I showed on this channel back in 2015. And uh, I believe it came out in like 2014, 2015 was when this speaker originally came out. The JBL Eon 615 was like a 500 watt speaker, which watts really mean nothing. If you guys want to know more about like what matters in terms of a speaker pretty much nothing matters it's all about your opinion and these are gonna be my opinions so we're gonna go into that but i made a whole video of like things you need to consider when buying a new speaker and stuff like that that might be a good place to start before you uh take my word on this list start with that video and then we'll get this list but back when that speaker came out it had a lot of revolutionary stuff like the eq app you uh you can get the JBL Eon app on your phone and you can EQ the speaker, which is highly needed. If you guys uh, dive way back into my uh, channel, just search DJ Rick Webb, JBL Eon 615, you'll see those videos, but out of the box, the JBL Eon 615 doesn't sound that great. It's very flat, which is known for JBL products, and you really need to EQ it to make it sound good. Once you EQ it, it's a pretty solid speaker. But when it comes to output, it's not that great. There's some speakers on this list with a heck of a lot better output now, uh, but the sound quality is pretty good, um, especially if you EQ it. And obviously with the 615 name, it is a 15 inch top. All the tops I'm gonna be talking about, except for the QSC, which is gonna be next, are gonna be 15 inch tops. If you are a beginner DJ, this is another plug right here for pro tips. If you are a beginner DJ and you're looking to buy two speakers, unless you're looking at QSC because they don't make a 15 inch top in their lower end lines, you're gonna want to look for a 15 inch top over a 12 or a 10 inch top because the 15 inch top is going to have better bass output and have a fuller sound than a 12 or 10 inch top. Now eventually down the road when you get into subs and stuff like that, you can look at 12 and 10 inch tops. But beginner DJs, if you're just starting out, you're gonna be looking to buy one or two speakers um, and you're gonna wanna look for a 15 inch woofer and a tweeter top. Lastly here, the JBL Eon 615 right now is on like extreme discount for like the holiday season. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay there, if it's gonna go up. Uh, but it's listed at $399 right now, which is a very, very solid deal. Uh, typically, this speaker has been up around the $500 range, um, so it's like $100 off right now. So that's pretty good, uh, but anywhere from $400 to $500 is about where the speaker is running. Next speaker on my list at number four, as I handed out, is QSC, and it is the QSC CP12. QSC is by far one of the most popular speaker manufacturers in the mobile DJ industry with their extremely popular QSC K12 and K12.2. This speaker is basically a toned down QSC K12. And that's pretty much where I'm gonna leave it with this speaker. It is a 12 inch speaker, but QSC does some really, really wild things with their uh, software and stuff to make this 12 inch speaker sound a lot more like a 15 inch speaker. That's why this is the only 12 inch speaker you will see on this list. The rest will be 15s like I've talked about. But other than that, it is a solid beginner speaker, has a really good output for a beginner speaker, pretty much edges out the Eon 615, and that's gonna be a common trend you're gonna see in this list. The Eon 615 really 
doesn't have as loud of an output as what a lot of these other speakers have. So pretty much is a great speaker, especially if you're looking to get into the QSC range, or if you know a lot of DJs that already are using QSC and you like the sound of the QSC K12s, but you really can't afford those. This is a great option to get into, especially at the price point of $499 right now is what it is running for. So if the QSC is what you're looking for, this is a solid option to get into. All right, now at number three, we have probably one of my favorite speakers that I've been recommending for years now and it is the Mackie Fump 15s. Mackie by far is well known in the DJ community for being like everyone's first ever beginner set of speakers. Um, I was an exception, I never got Mackie Fumps, but a lot of guys that I know have had Mackie Fump 15s. I've heard them, I've seen them. They freaking bump for a beginner speaker, especially at their price point. They're normally going for around $350, which out of every speaker on this list is by far the cheapest that you're gonna see. It's one reason why I highly recommend the Mackie Fump 15s because of their price point to their value. It is a great sounding speaker, not as great as a few other ones that I'm gonna mention on this list, but it is a solid sounding speaker, has a pretty solid output, and it is very cheap. The only downsides to the Mackie Fump 15s are the sound quality is not the greatest, especially compared to some of the other speakers that I've mentioned. Uh, the QSC and the JBL definitely have a better sound profile, but this is something that's very minute to a lot of people's ears. The general population pretty much wouldn't tell the difference, uh, but DJs like you and me, if you A to B these speakers like I highly recommend you do, you probably will notice a difference in sound clarity and sound quality, especially with these other two that I'm gonna mention as well. Another thing is, just overall protection of the speaker. The Mackie Fump 15s are a beginner speaker and they don't have a lot of protection from abuse. And what I'm meaning by that is if you crank up the gain on these speakers and just play them completely improperly, I highly recommend you go check out my video on how to set up powered speakers properly to avoid this. But if you basically redline the speaker and run it in peak, these speakers will probably blow. There are a couple of speakers that I'm gonna mention here that have a lot of protection features that avoid this from happening. But again, when it comes to output and money to value, if you are on a very tight budget at $350, you can't go wrong with the Mackie Fump 15s, and that is why it's my number three speaker on this list. Number two on this list is another newcomer to this list, and that is uh, what's becoming one of my favorite speakers that I've ever used, which is the Avante A15s. I actually had a pair of Avante A15s. I have since sold those, um, not for, reasons with the speakers. The speakers are great. I actually, in fact, use them for multiple weddings, especially at this one smaller venue where we always had crowds under 100. There's one thing that has like blown my mind with the Avante A15s, and that is the bass output. If you are a beginner DJ and you want bass, buy these speakers. Like, ignore everything else on this list. Buy these speakers. I actually had to go into the EQ and turn down the bass because they are so bass heavy. And I've got many, many compliments from brides and grooms and guests at weddings of these speakers. These speakers are not gonna be the top speaker I'm gonna be talking about on this list, but in terms of like output and bass quality and sound quality, these speakers just rock. They really shouldn't be in the beginner category. They're like um, in between the beginner and the intermediate like speakers out there. These speakers are very solid. They have a great sound profile and they just bump. That's like my best description of them. They bump because they have a lot of bass and I'm a very bass heavy person. And uh, for that reason, I like these speakers a lot. And actually recently they've come down a lot in price. Now, I'm filming this right now in the middle of the holiday season, so I'm not really sure if prices are reduced right now because of that and they're gonna go back up in January. But as of right now, they're selling for $450, which is an absolute steal for this speaker. Honestly, if you're in the market and you can afford this speaker, I highly, highly recommend this speaker. The only downsides to this speaker are one, Avante. Avante is a very new company. It has been around a long time, so that's something you gotta keep in mind. New companies tend to have new problems. Although, in the case of the Avante A15s and my buddies that I know that have had them as well, there has been no issues reported. The second thing is, again, on the protection side, 
I'm not really sure how much protection these speakers have against you trying to blow them. I have personally never tried to do that and I don't plan to. Um, but one thing that is nice it is that it's a very modern speaker. You have a digital EQ on the back of the speaker where you can go and adjust the speaker in terms of if it's going to be a pole mounted, if it's going to be a, on the floor as a monitor, and you can digitally go in there and adjust the EQ, which is very handy compared to something like the JBL Eon uh, 615 where you have to pull out your phone, sync it, and then EQ it. For this speaker, you literally just do it on the back of the screen. It gives you a nice little digital EQ that you can mess with and adjust. So I'm, I'm probably like inflating the speaker, but I highly recommend uh, you guys go check the speaker out. And on that note, before I get to my uh, number one choice for a beginner speaker, I mentioned this a lot in the video. I talked about the things you need to look at before buying a speaker. And one of the biggest things is you need to find time to go listen to these speakers in person. You're taking my opinion off this, but my opinion does not translate to what your ears are gonna hear and be your opinion. I highly recommend that if you guys are near a music store, if you guys are near a guitar center, go into those stores. They're gonna have every one of the speakers that I listed in this video, they're gonna have them at that store to listen to. If they don't, talk to a manager, they can probably get them there so you can listen to them. But go into the store, listen to those speakers, listen to them on different uh, genres, listen to them at different volumes, see which ones are louder, mess around with the EQs if they'll let you. Most times they'll let you play around with the speakers and mess around with the EQs, but go listen to these speakers. That's my biggest tip to you guys. These are my top five recommendations. Go into a music store, listen to all five of these, and decide which one is best for you based on price, based on how they sound, and just overall what you like best. But at number one, this is my top recommendation speaker out there if you are looking. This is like my basically my safe hold speaker recommendation for a speaker that if you're just looking to buy a beginner speaker, you want something that's gonna last, you don't need to baby it, you can just literally put it through its paces and it's gonna last is the EV ZLX 15 P BT. BT is in Bluetooth. That's the newest version out there right now. Um, and that gives you some great options that I was gonna talk about right now. First off, EV ZLX 15P, it's gonna sound great. It has a great DJ sound to it. EV is known for having a very great DJ sound out of the box. And what I'm saying by that is it's not flat. It's basically got a little bit more bass, a little bit more high end, more of a smiley face. EQ curve, which is what most DJs like to hear out of their speakers. It's got a really solid output. It gets pretty loud for a beginner speaker. And probably the biggest things behind it is one, it's EV. EV has been around forever. It seems like EV, like EV is a very reputable company out there. And the biggest selling point for me on the EV ZLX 15 ps is the limiting. Out of every speaker brand out there, I strongly believe that EV has the best limiting protection in place on their speakers to avoid abuse of the user basically blowing the speaker. And what I'm saying by that is they do the best job of putting in uh, limiters and putting in protection into the amplifiers and the EQ to basically keep the user from being able to blow the speaker. The speaker will basically shut itself down before it'll actually blow itself up if that makes sense. So if a user is just pumping a like red line volume into it and got the gain turned all the way up, basically the speaker will gradually get quieter and quieter and then basically go into a protection mode or an overheat mode where basically the speaker just says, I can't do this anymore. You're, you're, you're just abusing me. Like I'm not gonna work. That's really good for people that just are getting into this that don't necessarily know a lot of the basically how to set up your powered speakers properly. It just protects your speakers for use down the road, which is something I really like when recommending to beginners out there. And now with the recent refresh with the Bluetooth version now of the EV ZLXs, it's got their Quick Smart DSP, which is found in their uh, upper lines which basically allows you to EQ the speaker, similar to kind of what I was talking about with the Avantes, which is just a very welcoming feature to have on a beginner speaker. And as of now, the speaker is coming in at $450, which again is a very solid price point for the speaker. And that is it for my list on the top five speakers that I recommend for beginners out there. We got the JBL Eon 615, the QAC CP12, the Mackie Fump 15, the Avante A15, and the EV ZLX 
15 PBT Bluetooth. Some last little pro tips and pointers here for you guys. Like I mentioned, you really want to go listen to these speakers. I, I highly recommend not ordering these speakers just based on someone's opinion. Go listen to these speakers and see how they sound to you in person. Waver the options, the features, the output, and all that, and see what's best for you. A second little pro tip pointer here. I started on my DJ journey way back when, when I bought my first set of beginner speakers. I spent literally the cheapest of the cheap and bought two Harbinger like 15 inch speakers. And they do serve their purpose, they were great, but my God, was that a hell to deal with. You had to baby the shit out of them. They were overheating, uh, they would go down, and honestly, they served like they were just a hassle in my DJ career. Like I don't wish any beginners to have those speakers and honestly in avoiding buying those really really cheap speakers and sticking to really quality speakers like the ones that I mentioned you're gonna be less likely to break that speaker it's gonna last you a lot longer you're gonna basically be able to cycle that speaker so once you get those speakers and you move up to a bigger better speaker system you can cycle that speaker down to possibly being a monitor being a side fill being a ceremony speaker, a cocktail speaker, just basically being an additional speaker in your arsenal because it still has quality sound to it and it basically can function as a really good speaker for you. Or if you don't wanna cycle that speaker down into a monitor or a side fill or other things and you just wanna get rid of it, you don't have to get rid of it for literally little to nothing, sort of like what I had to do with my Harbinger speakers, I had to literally sell them for like little to nothing versus like when I had my JBL Eon 615s, when I finally decided to sell those, I got a pretty good return for basically uh, how long I've had them versus how much value they still had because they were a quality speaker and they still had a lot of life left in them to use. But yeah guys, if anything, if you have any questions, any concerns, please feel free to comment down below. Reach out to me on Instagram, right here's my link. You guys can DM me on Instagram. I, I love when you guys DM me and I actually respond because I respond to every single one of you guys' DMs and you're like, oh my God, I couldn't believe you actually responded. Yeah, I actually respond to all you guys' questions. So if you guys have any questions, hit me up on Instagram. That's where I'm at if you ever have any questions. And one other thing right here, because I know it's gonna be a number one thing talked about in the comments and just the overall trend. These speakers on this list, all five that I mentioned, are my personal speakers that I have a lot of experience with. I've heard, I have a lot of other people in my circle that use these speakers and have basically proven them to be a quality option. There's a lot of other good speakers out there. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of other good companies and speakers out there. Yamaha is one I hear about all the time, but those are speakers that I do not have personal experience with, and I'm not going to recommend any speakers that I do not have personal experience with. But anyways, guys, on that note, if you like this video, be sure to slap that like button hit that like button, seriously, hit this like button. It really helps out the video algorithms and stuff to make this video like get views and stuff. So if you could, slap the like button. Also, if you guys are interested in DJ Life clothing, I have my merch. I'm rocking the first arrive, last to leave shirt right here. Super comfortable. I'm not sure if this design by the time you watch this video is still in stock or not, but if you guys wanna check it out, shopdjlife.com, that is my merch store. Go check it out. Awesome shirts, high quality shirts, designed for DJs by DJs, aka myself. But anyways guys, remember to subscribe. That's all for this video. Keep them record spinning, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.